Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Today, we got 52 mods on the testing list. With all that 14 were released today, we got the release date to farm some kids, and we got four modders to talk about, including a house upgrade on Alma, Missouri. Check it out. Starting off with our mods in testing, today we have 52 mods on the list. 44 of those are in PC testing and 8 are in console testing. Some notable mods on the PC list include Map Alpine, Big US Grain Mill, and Lands of La Mancha. Also in PC testing, we have Hitch Support, Enhanced Animal System, Stone Pick up forge pickup trailer pack yeah and the john deere c850 air card and the drill to match rounding out pc testing we have the uk hay storage front bumper pack t8 south america and diamond disc jumping down to our console mods and testing and basically all of these were released today with the exception of one the finished farm with all that being said we still have 283 mods sitting waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 16 work days don't forget all mods that come out for console must pass PC testing first. That's why you see PC testing being full a lot of the time. Speaking of mods releasing, in addition to the mods and testing, we have 14 new and updated mods released on the in-game mod hub today. I've already made a video showing these off, and you can find that link below. The release for Farming Simulator Kids has been revealed Tuesday, March 26th. The game will be for Nintendo Switch as well as iOS and Android devices. As the name suggests, the game caters to the younger crowd and to hopefully get them interested in agriculture early, and I think it also provides a nice stepping stone for those young players to get into farming simulator a little bit easier i've got friends my age that still can't play it i will be talking about farm some kids more once we get closer to the release of it but in the meantime you can check out the video i did with john deere last year for an overview jumping over to modern news we start with salabuki who has updated the house on alma missouri the house is getting a new look with a uh, color change of green instead of yellow Maybe it's available in both, I'm not sure. And the garage will be usable. This has been a big complaint from the community since the release of the map, but it's great to see. I don't believe the interior is going to be finished, but you can still see the sleep trigger at the front door. Hey, baby steps, right? Ross and Mods Lieber LTM 1450, aka the big old crane that you guys have been asking about, is now with Giants for testing for all platforms. As we saw from the testing list today, I wouldn't expect to see this on the list for another two or three weeks at least, but... We are that much closer to seeing it in our mod folders. I believe that this will be the tallest crane in Farming Simulator for all platforms once it's released, and that's going to be epic. Ooh, I wonder how fast it can go. Next up, Chris S. and Riley S. say that their Colossus Harvesters pack did fail testing due to a small issue, which they have corrected and were sending it back for testing late last night. As for their Kinsey Multifruit Planters update, this is also pending testing with Giants, but again, don't expect to see anything for a few weeks. And lastly, today already, not a lot to talk about. Another mod that's with Giants for testing and out now for PC players via third-party site is the Balzer Field Floater 7 Grain Cart from Customotic. They have released the PC version via Google Drive ahead of the Crossplay Mata version, which we still don't know when that'll be released yet. You can check out Customotic on Facebook to get the cart for yourself and keep an eye on the testing list for the Crossplay version, which should be popping up soon. Also, if you guys follow me on Facebook or Twitter, or here on YouTube, whatever. Uh, I've also released this in the community tabs. So check that out. Because that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham Fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way you never miss videos like this one here on the channel. All that being said, just hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Isn't it not weird that I left three days ago, but I'm still here?